Hello everyone. So, road trip time, isn't it? Now there was supposed to be about nine of us coming down here and we were gonna stay overnight and we were gonna play this golf course and then the following morning we we're gonna go and play another golf course, but alas, the issues are we can't share cars, so the expense kind of goes up a bit. And of course we can't get overnight accommodation, so it's completely out of the window. Now what am I doing here at Bude? Well I'm kind of retracing my steps. I played here in 1988 as a complete beginner with my dad's clubs with wooden woods and Slazinger blades. I don't remember much about it except that tri- why am I doing it there? Except for that triangle of holes down there. I remember that and I remember the uh, par 3 8 for some bizarre reason, that one hole has stuck in my mind. Now it's quite windy today, so there's gonna be no gassing on camera. It's all gonna be voiceover. Uh, we've got a strong wind coming off the land to the sea, which is unusual. It normally comes off the sea to the land. It's gonna be hard, because Lynx Golf is, um, it's not something I play very often. So it's completely alien to me. And that's part of the reason why I'm here. Because playing your own track over and over and over again doesn't always teach you something. So to play something alien is, uh, is a really good idea. And I am desperately in need of a haircut. But have you noticed this sun we've had this spring is, uh, it's, it's bleached my hair blonde. I've gone blonde all of a sudden. Have you noticed? Anyway, I'm in the car park. Sick fairway is just there. Uh, the practice ground is just over there. So I brought my practice balls with me today so I can go and warm up before I play. And as you're in Cornwall, what do you get for lunch? The Cornish pasty. Now for, better not make a mess because we are in the new hairy mobile and I don't want to make a mess in here. Now for the American friends, you, you might not have come across the Cornish pasty. What it is, is pastry. And inside that, there is chuck steak cubed. There is potato, swede, carrot cubed, salt and pepper. We're gonna see in a moment how much pepper they've put in. It's not my uh, favorite to over pepper or something. Um, might be some onion in there. Don't need a knife and fork. You grip it by that big thick crust and you eat it like this. And um, you're not gonna see me eating, I'm afraid. I'm not gonna put you through that. So see you on the course on the first tee and we'll see if I can actually play some Lynx Golf. See you in a moment. Well, here we are on the first tee. For the record, I'm playing the yellows today. It's a par 71. It's 5,818 yards. Although quite a few of the yellow tees are well in front, so I'm probably only playing about 5,600. So it's not all that long. The other thing is, as you can see, the golf course is a bit burnt out. And with the dry spring, there isn't a huge amount of heavy rough. So it's not going to be overly difficult compared to the kind of parkland course I'm used to playing. The course was opened in 1891 and instead of the modern kind of golf course which is sculpted by bulldozer and digger, this is sculpted by geographical time. The only thing they've done is, with a shovel and hard labour, create tees, bunkers and greens.
I zapped the carry over the fairway bunker at 188 yards. But uh, instead of pulling out a sensible club, I thought, what the hell, let's go with driver again. I didn't actually see it, but there's no doubt I have bounced off the out of bounds fence. I've only got 60 yards to this little race green. Easy shot down the wind. Bit of a walk to the fourth tee. This has got to be my favourite hole on the course. It's funny how often your favourite hole is a little challenging par 3. And it's only 127, but it's an incredibly difficult tee shot. Fantastic little par three that is. One two six yards I had for that flag, and uh, finished up on that high shelf. Not a chance. Not a chance. Although I should have had a chance really. But there's one two three four five six little pot bunkers. Can you imagine going up the face of that and trying to get a par from there? Brilliant fun though. Absolutely fantastic fun. Fifth and last hole in the triangle before we cross over the road and get back to the clubhouse and the sixth tee again. I was well aware of the OB and the road down the right hand side so I deliberately bailed left. And from, where, from the tee I could not see all those fairway bunkers. I don't think I would have bailed if I could have seen them. This is typical English seaside, um, not just golf, but it's been grey all morning. The tide has obviously changed, which for whatever reason, the tide affects the sky. And now we have some nice blue sky when before it was just solid grey. And I've just hit a portable fine line there up the hill. Hopefully there's not a bunker there, otherwise, um, well, you know. There's something about an old Lynx golf course that I can't quite put my finger on. Other than to say, time doesn't pass here, it collects. Time collects.
I'm going to be honest here, the fairway's out to the right. I should have been hitting a little fairway wood, but you know, what the hell, I'll take the driver. Fortunately, I pulled it into the left rough, the first bit of rough I've found. This seems rather short for a par 5, but normally the wind would be left to right, blowing you towards the outer bounds. There's about three fairway bunkers down the left. And then when you get to the second shot, there almost seems to be nowhere to hit it. I didn't feel brave off the downslope to actually go for the green, but I didn't know what to lay up with. So I just took the hybrid and basically hoped for the best. That's a nice way to finish the nine out. And just in case you think Lynx golf courses are flat, that's where I came from. Right, that's part one over. Part two coming um, in a few days. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a uh, give us a subscribe and ring the bell and a like. You know the old thumbs up helps the video become more visible. I think I've been lucky really, because uh, I don't know where I'm going. So I'm just letting it all hang out with the driver. And there is, there is some heavy grass out there, but I haven't found any yet, apart from seven. But I managed to get away with that with a par. Um, let's see what the back nine brings us. Cheerio.